<laughs> yeah, he still kind of smells kind of nasty. He kind of smells like like rubber that somebody vomited on. Hey, what's up? So this is going to be the review for the Comic-Con 2011 Sentinel. And here's the box right here. And of course, the box is so huge. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this box because I'm across the country right now. Really, really dope artwork. I absolutely love this artwork. See everybody right here. And of course, here's the Sentinel. Really, really awesome. And then, of course, this giant card back, which I just love that. I love the concept of that. And you can see his twisty ties because I just broke them out of there. And here's the back of the card right here. Really, really cool. I love how it has this right here. And here's a warning to you guys. If you guys got your Sentinel and you didn't open it yet, yo, the thing is funky. The thing smells bad. It smells like rotten broccoli and romaine lettuce. It's nasty. It's real, really nasty. It smells like a hot mess when you first open it. You got it first at Comic-Con. But yeah, if you want to read this bio, hopefully I can catch this in the light for you. You can read that. So here he is with some Marvel Universe figures, and I think the scale of those looks really good with him. And this is the one with the more purplish color scheme, and you can see that my hands totally match it, because I, I did that on purpose, yo. But uh, if you want to see the other one that's going to be released in stores, which is actually out now already, you can check out this picture right here. And he has a lot of sounds. I think he has about 18 sounds. So here's one of them right here. That's probably my favorite one right there. And you can see his eyes light up too, which is really cool. Hmm. <laughs> that one just says stop. That's pretty funny. Oh, he wanted the one I want. No, that's not it either, buddy. No, not hard. This one. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> you stop. There you go. That's one of my favorites, too. Alright, so let me take these guys out for a sec to show you their articulation. And his head does move up and down. His head moves pretty good all the way around. And as Shardimus Prime had pointed out, and if you want to check out his review, he did a really, really good one. Uh, you can check it out down below. His head does come off. You can just pop this thing right off and you can put him in flying mode, which is actually really cool. I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like messing with it right now. But um, he has really good articulation, though. The only thing I don't like is that he doesn't have each finger articulation. So that's one of the things I don't like. But you can see, obviously, right in here. And he's very stiff, so I'm not even going to mess with him. And you can see... You know, these go up and down, in and out. Right here, his wrists. Pretty hard to maneuver this big guy. And then also, right in here, it turns around. Also, he's got these really nice joints in here. Big, huge ball joints. And then double, double knee, which I can't do because, I don't know, I'm weak right now. Can't do it. But his knees do do it. And also, right in here. And he has some really cool... Right here, really cool detail. He's got a nice sculpted butt. Psh, psh, bad sentinel. And you can see right in the back the detail is pretty nice. It's got all the detail up in here, which I think looks really good. And I like how the black is on the fingers right here. It's like a different kind of a texture. And also, while I'm showing you guys this, I wanted to say a big shout out to Star Sapphire. And on YouTube, she's Star Sapphire 21. She totally hooked me up. Ooh, nice abs going on there. She totally hooked me up by uh, picking me up this and the Cobra Sky Striker. 
at the Comic Con. So I want to give a big thank you to her because there was no way, there was no way realistic videos was getting up in there. Um, you know, I was trying to get these different exclusives and I just failed. I was only able to nab um, Voltron, the Articulate Voltron, and the Swamp Thing were the only ones that were pretty easy to get. But the Hasbro stuff was like near impossible. So huge thank you to her. And you can see this piece right in here. I'm not sure how my lighting is getting this right here. But it's like the dark orange around and the light orange in the middle. Pretty cool. And as far as his comparison to the other Sentinel, the Toy Biz one, I don't have it with me right now. It's actually in Rhode Island with the rest of my collection. And I'm in California right now, so I don't have him. But um, he's, I think, definitely better. But this one, I love this one. And I can't wait to get the one, the retail one as well. Because I really like the colors on that one also. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my quickie review on this, and I got way more stuff coming up, so thank you guys so much. Peace.